Okay, we will move on with uh, Esther Nunez, and she will be telling us a little bit about the history of the Garifano people. Esther? Good morning. Biti Benafi. Mabiga Nidoheo. Buenos dias, senor. E senores. Welcome to New Jersey Folk Fest. With an emphasis on the Garifuna culture, I will give you a brief history in regards to our history. I am a Garifuna. It means cassava eating people. History states that the Garifuna was from West Africa, the Ibu, the Ashanti, and the Yoruba. Nonetheless, in Ibu, cassava is named Gari. It is not the myth that was initially stated by European that we were carnival. It was just fabricated, vehemently erroneous. It is this cassava that sustained us throughout our Garifuna journey. Even in our most sacred ritual, the Dugu, it is the cassava that our ancestors request. Not black rice from Haiti, not pepper pot, not McDonald's, but it is Ereba cassava. Our story is one of resistance, one of struggle, and one of survival. Our story initially started on the Orinoco River, the Caribs, the Arawak, intermarry each other. But initially, the Arawaks will launch raids on the Caribs and take their women as wives. Hence, you have a hybrid of language. Carib, male gender. Female gender, the Arawak. Hence, in Garifuna, I would say to you, Higabunu, meaning come to me, a woman perspective, female base oriented, a male would say, I hear it. That's the carrot version of our language. It is gender based. We have different perspective in regards to the Garifuna. Our perspective is that initially, oceanographic survey stated that there are three main ocean currents, a hundred miles out of Africa, from Cape Verde semi Gambi, and South Africa. Currents will bring you directly to South America, to the Caribbean, and also to Mexico. Hence, if African travel, it is a must that they will land in, that they will land in South America, here in the New World. So hence, this perspective is that maybe that was initially the inception of the Black Caribbean. It's just a hypothesis. Nonetheless, the Garifuna journey started in 1650. Here we have slaves coming from West Africa, not slave yet. Africans coming from, slave, from, South, from Africa. On their way, they were shipwrecked by high seas. These Africans, they swam to the island of Bekwe. Hence, later, they migrated to St. Vincent. Hence, 
This was the blending of the Garifuna culture, a hybrid of culture. African connection, they brought with them their drum, their music, their spirituality. The Karabawa connection, they brought with them fishing, hunting, they were masks, skill fishermen. So here we have a hybrid of two culture. Nonetheless, on the island of St. Vincent, here we have political instability, meaning the French, the Spaniards, and the Britain, British wanted to usurp and take over our homeland. We continuously fought with the British, the French, and the Spaniards. We defeated the Spaniards, we defeated the French. But finally, unfortunately for my ancestors, they did not defeat the British. The British raped and pillaged and massacred almost to extinction my people, the Garifuna people. Joseph Paramount, Chief Chachoe, was our leader. He fought with the British, but finally, finally, he was defeated. His son Duvalier continued the guerrilla warfare. It lasted for one year. Eventually, they surrendered. They lost their homes. They lost the cassava field. They lost the only need of sustenance. They were placed on this island of Baliso. They perished from starvation. Initially, it was 5,000 Garifuna initially was placed on this island of Baliso. Finally, my people was sent to Rotan in 1790, 1770, 1797. They were sent to Rotan, to Honduras, and in 1802, to Belize, begging for political asylum. We became a people without a land. We became refugees. Hence, when we arrived in Belize, we asked for permission, but the British knew what we had done in St. Vincent. So hence, when we got there, it was called, the place initially where we got was called Yabra. Yabra in my language means, here, my brother, we are going to rest here. Nonetheless, we were deported to the coastal areas of Dangriga, Punta Gorda, Hopkins, the coastal area of Belize, to prevent us from insurrection. Lastly, I am proud of my culture because UNESCO in 201 has claimed Garifuna culture a masterpiece, an oral and intangible heritage to humanity. And because of that, I am proud of our journey that we are now acknowledged. Long live Garifuna. Yeah.